Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and we're going to be looking at the fourth day of 30 days of SEO, improving your search engine optimization on your WordPress website. Let's get to question number four. All right, y'all, this is the worksheet that I'm referencing. Of course, you can get this totally for free in a download. You'll find the link in the description box below. We've already addressed questions one, two, and three, which were, what is the purpose of your website? Can people tell what it is that you do? What is your major call to action? And on your homepage, does your page title include your location as well as your major keyword phrase? So if you haven't had the opportunity to go back and work on those three things, please be sure to check out those videos as well. But today's question is number four, are all of your page titles unique and reflective of your keyword list? So here's the thing, I'm hoping that you've already done some research on what keywords people are searching for when they're trying to find your service or your content. When you understand those keywords, you can then kind of sprinkle them in appropriately throughout your site that allows Google to understand what it is that you do, right? That's basics of SEO. But specifically, you can go into your page titles, right? You can go right here into your page titles and make every single one of them unique and contain or be reflective of your keyword list. So I'm gonna show you a very quick way that you can address all of your page titles. So in question number three, we were addressing your home page specifically. This exercise, this question addresses every single one of your pages or posts inside of WordPress. And I'm gonna show you a quick way to check those out instantly. Watch this trick. So the first thing is to jump over to google.com and then I want you to type in the word site, S-I-T-E, and then colon, and then paste in any website that you want to do this exercise for, your own website, a competitor's website, just anybody's website. I'm gonna use the example that we used yesterday about roofing. So I'm gonna go here to gotitanroofs.com and I'm gonna search them. So all I do is press enter. What these search results do is it gives us a very quick snapshot of every single page, post, file, anything that Google has legally indexed from this website. That's all I'm gonna see on these search results. So every single one of these snippets has to do with this singular website. It's so cool, you guys. So immediately it says that it has shown me 64 results. So it's, it's found 64 different index listings on this one website and very quickly we get to read and see how great these look or we get to identify opportunities of improvement so you might want to say that this is a great example of roofing insurance in san antonio texas titan roofing so it looks like they have addressed manually overridden the page title here to include roofing insurance in san antonio and then prior to going into detail, the essential takeaway of this article is to inform you that it is illegal for roofing contractors in Texas to waive insurance deductibles. Well, that's interesting. So let's click on that and go into the page and see if the page itself is titled Roofing Insurance in San Antonio, Texas. In fact, it's not. The H1 probably on this page is Roofing Insurance, right? Which is great for SEO. But it looks like what this particular website has done is it's gone up into the page title and it's manually overridden it to be roofing insurance in San Antonio, Texas. And then there's a pipe, Titan Roofing. So this is a really great example of addressing every single one of your pages, every single one of your posts, making certain that they read really nicely. Uh, and you kind of get a really cool snapshot of what everybody's gonna see when these pages render in the Google search results. Let me give you one more example of what not to do. Unfortunately, uh, this site is beautifully done. It looks so pretty on the front side here. I love the little lick. This is so cute. Um, this is a local um, boarding and grooming pet location here in the San Antonio, Texas area. Really cool, great service. Look at this gallery. I mean, this place looks beautiful. The front of the website is done so, so well. But unfortunately, this website's gonna really, really struggle to rank organically. They're always going to have to uh, probably have paid marketing or really lean into their social media marketing because the site's not gonna really rank very high inside of organic search results. 
The reason is I've gone and taken their domain name and plugged it into a site search. And this is why, this is what you're finding. Um, you're, you're only finding three search results. And the first one is titled home, the pets in SA. So that's all run together, hard to understand. The next page is hotel boutique home, which has nothing to do with pets or grooming. And then again, the third option here is hotel boutique home pets in SA. This one also here as the meta description for this page is really not very helpful. I don't understand what that language means. Obviously it looks like it's exposing some hours, but I don't know if those are holiday hours or if those are accurate hours for today. Um, so yeah, this is really a struggle. Not only do they have very minimal, minimal content, but even the page titles that are currently here are really a little bit off and could use some optimizing. So there is an opportunity there for certain improvement. So you might ask me, how do we make those changes? Where do we go to overwrite all of that? Well, yesterday I shared with you how to go in and overwrite your homepage title. Today, it's, it's basically the same thing. You're gonna go to every single one of your pages, every single one of your posts, and use the plugin called Yoast SEO. So if you don't have that installed already, I'll put a link in the description box below that you can go and learn how to walk through installing Yoast. It is a free, amazing SEO plugin that will hold you accountable to how you write your content. It'll give you this little user experience here that allows you to come in here and overwrite, manually overwrite the title of this page. So you could have dog grooming in San Antonio, Texas, right? Um, and you can say um, dog baths and um, boarding, right? That'd be pretty cool right there. That already looks better. Look how great my SEO is here inside of my Google snippet. And then down here in the meta description is where you impact kind of these three lines here. So you could put everything you wanted to in here with uh, daily specials. Let's use some good grammar daily specials for our dog grooming in San Antonio, Texas, call today for reservations, right? You could fill out this whole thing and just make it really nice and keyword rich and make it appropriate for every single page, every single post. Again, if you'd like more information about how to use the Yoast SEO plugin, I have an entire playlist and that link is found in the description box below. Okay, y'all, out of the other questions that we've already had, I can't stress to you enough how important this specific task is for you. And I know it might seem daunting, especially if you have a 30 page, 50 page, 500 page website. So I'm gonna give you a quick tip and how to do this if you're doing this kind of retroactively, you're having to go back to an existing site and impact these changes. I'm gonna give you a tip by challenging you to pull an analytics report from your Google Analytics. Again, I'm hoping that you're already tracking your website with Google Analytics since it's a free tool. If you can pull out over the last six months what your top major 50 landing pages have been or your top 10, whatever that might look like, take a look at those top pages and go back and start there first with this exercise. It's a very simple way to be impactful on your high trafficked pages. I hope this helps you stick around. Be sure to click subscribe because every day for the next 30 days, I'm creating content just like this to help you improve your online marketing. And be sure to check out over 400 different videos I have here on my YouTube channel, all in the world of WordPress. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye everyone.